I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the New York Jets and the New York Giants. With that, let's get up to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with their rivals and co-tenants here in the building, the New York Jets. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical, who wins up front, who runs the ball the best and controls the clock, they will come out the victor. Rosas, the Giants kicker, ready to go. And here we go from MetLife Stadium. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. And quickly the starting 11 now for the New York defense. Leonard Williams was one of the top draft picks coming out of USC. And he's done nothing to diminish the comparisons people make of past greats. Darnold. Found his target, it's Anderson. And he's gonna take it in for a Jets touchdown. Robbie Anderson. 63 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really it what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Jones. From the gun, he'll throw. His throw incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and now it's second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Jones operating from the gun. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. 
From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 38-yard line. So here's a first and ten at the 38. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Throwing on second and 14. Jones under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for a loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Throwing Jones, and he's going to go down again. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive, then you get a big sack there on third down, and you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They have no distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. From his own goal line, Darnold. And he will find his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Now it's Darnold. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 34. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. Great gains back-to-back. -back. Last time over 30 yards, better than 20 here. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. As they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter. As they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know every time we watch Le'Veon Bell play, we think about him making people miss the hesitation move. But you remember, he came out of Michigan State as a bruiser and a thumper, and he still has those capabilities. At 225 pounds, an underrated part of his game. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. 
You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. They'll run for it in Montgomery. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Ty Montgomery taking it in. And the Jets will extend their lead. Oh, this is what I love about calling these games. Fourth and goal. This is all about leverage. Who wants it more? And who's going to get it done at the point of attack, the line of scrimmage. The extra point splits the uprights. And it's now 14 to nothing. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was all capped on the touchdown run by Ty Montgomery. Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. This will be taken in at the one. And New York set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Evan Ingram, 82 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies. A big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over, this game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Oh, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Sam Darnold leading the offense out for their next possession. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. To throw is Darnold. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Here we go. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants 43. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. On second down, it's Bell. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 10 yards is the pickup, good enough for a Jet first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now, after the run by Bell, here's another first and 10. And they'll try the air now with Darnold. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. 
And he'll get it down this time with a 17. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Back to throw, Darnold. That one complete to Anderson. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Robbie Anderson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Jets will extend their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 21-7. to So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown. Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. This will be taken in at the one. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here's the Giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, Let's see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they did. Golden Tate's going to go. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Golden Tate. 76 yards as his guys are back within a single score. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high flying plays, but a good number of them play running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. Rosas to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass. And that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Ty Montgomery and the offense getting set for their next drive. He's only had a couple of carries. I mean, when you've got a horse like this, second quarter, got to start to ride that horse a little more, don't you? You can't just neglect him. He's got to touch it and often in order to get maximum out of him. Typically, these types of backs, it's the accumulation of carries, and that's when you see the damage as the game goes on. Yeah, let's see. They're going to try to get him into the flow, we would assume, here. Now, here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Jabril Peppers, the former first-round pick, there on the coverage. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Darnold. Into the hands of his receiver, Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Here's Darnold. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there, picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. On first and 10, Darnold. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. So we've reached halftime here on an abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? 
typically what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Now Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller since that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Gallman. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Now Jones from the gun on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Here's the Jets offense now, getting set to start off this third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Darnold, and he's got it complete to Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. Darnold now, 13 of 16 throwing the football. It's first and ten. Here's Darnold. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Bell. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. And now out come the Giants. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that, Bert? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Ten yards, good for a giant first down. But he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has a sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. From the end zone, here's Darnold. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Darnold now to throw. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now a first down carry by Bell. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches and, and go routes, essentially. Yeah. I mean, but he ran them really well. He averaged well over 20 yards a catch while he was there. And he still creates downfield in the NFL. That big body and that willingness to go catch the football. He's pretty impressive. And his friends call him Bay Bay, the nickname his uncle gave him back in the day. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Montgomery a first down and then some. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Starting to feel a little to me like the air is coming out of the balloon, so to speak, defensively. They're taking their will from them right now. That's what they're doing. Whatever they want to call. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Sam Darnold taking it in. And the Jets will extend their lead. And they wasted no time right down near the goal line, and they just sneak it in. Just do what you need to do. Big guys going up front. Have the field general, the leader, just fall in behind them. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by the quarterback sneak for six. Here's Sam Ficken now for the Jet field goal. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
Here's the giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Jones now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Jones throwing complete here to Tate. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. An opening there on that first down run as he gets his forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 29, Jones. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Jones pass. Complete to Evan Ingram. He's on the 70, Indy. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You, you, you. You, you, you. They'll run with Barkley. Shifts by him, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Steve McClendon, credit him for the sack. After the sack on first down, Jones, and the pressure gets to him again. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to let it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Defense. Well, this home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally get it. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Second and 11. And his pass incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, but now it's third and goal. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jamal Adams.
The Jets offense ready to go in this battle of New York. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. A little clock management 101. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand, they take a knee. The Giants gonna burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Darnold is gonna take a knee and that should just about do it. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. For that, we sign off from MetLife Stadium.